Hey guys. I got Elsie and her two baby chinchillas. They're both boys. Oh, listen to that one cry. I got a wheel in here for them and a dust bath. So, we'll see what they do. I don't feel like doing playpen time today. I got cleaned up and I don't want chinchilla fur all over me right now and dust. So... Last time I put the wheel in here, the babies were using it. And these guys are four weeks old, by the way. Both boys. We'll see how long they let me leave the door open. <laughs> There they go. What's funny is my eight week old chinchillas that I have, um, they won't even touch the wheel. I don't know why. There's four of them. Oh, Elsie's getting nosy. When she gets nosy, she wants out. Oh, you hear her talking to the babies? How's everyone doing today? Everyone all ready for Halloween? I got my candy ready to pass out and then a bunch of logs for the fire. Because it's going to be cold. You guys hear the baby cries? Surprise Elsie hasn't gotten her dust bath yet. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're going to get my nails. Can I hold you for a bit? Hmm? See how sweet they are. Chinchillas are nocturnal, but uh, most of mine were pretty much already up. So Some will be up, some will be dead asleep during the day, but... It out. Oh, look at you, little sweet baby. Oh, it's all right. Oh, if I hear one of the other chinchillas jump in their cage, it's like the slightest noise. They have incredible hearing, too, guys. Incredible. <laughs> he got it going really fast and then got scared. You gonna get on it, Elsie? Oh, hi. Uh-oh, you fall down. You cannot eat my nails. See how cute they are, guys? Very friendly, too. Elsie's got a dust bath, and she's back there rolling in the shavings. Yeah, they got a dust bath right there, hon. Oh, someone made a noise and they ran. Anytime they hear a slice noise, it's time to go. They got their dust bath. Uh, Mom went in it once. They are cute. And these guys are both uh, light ebony boys. So you guys are being... Better than uh, Susie, who's over there all hormonal. Burnout. Uh-oh. They heard a noise. There's Mama Susie back there still. I don't know what her deal is, but usually she's not like that. And I even gave her treats. So, who knows? And she got a fresh dust bath, so I don't know what Susie's problem is. And she had fresh hay, so. Mm -hmm. You guys so sweet. Please don't eat my nails. 
chinchillas like fingernails, but they also like to groom you. They give you itty bitty little nibbles. And when they do that, uh, means they've accepted you as part of their hurt. But, um, they're just running on a wheel. This is a little portable wheel. I can put in and out of cages, so. But they make tons of other ones. Oh, I know. Pretty quiet wheel too. Some of those wheels can be noisy. They're baby chinchillas. There's mommy. I'm gonna actually buy a couple more of these. <laughs> you guys, did you guys hear that sound? Sounds like a cat wheeling back there. I don't have a cat. That's one of the other chins. But I like to take this wheel in and out for the moms and the babies. I'll leave it in here and then I'll put it in another one later after they've gotten, they've used it a bit. Then I got new hanging toys I need to hang in there. They had one, but they chewed it off. And if you guys are new here, I'd appreciate if everyone would follow me. Tap the screen. Give me some hearts. It's all free. Um, I go live with my baby chinchillas, my adult chinchillas, and I rescue chinchillas on a very small level. Get down, baby. Um, I have... I'm not taking any more rescues right now. One of my rescues I'm trying to work with, I'll probably do a live here in a little while, is Elle Woods. Um, she, um, I got her maybe about a month ago. Um, the owner surrendered her to me, or re wanted to rehome her. She is missing part of her, her tail from a, um, a cat attack about a year ago. And then I just confirmed she was pregnant too. So... I'm hoping if she has a little girl, Elle Woods, that um, I will keep her little female baby with her to eventually adopt out. They are cute. There's Mama Elsie. Very friendly. You can hear all the chins kind of banging around in their cages, so um, they get spooked a little bit. Usually I, I play music, but I have, I'm not doing it right now. There goes Elsie. Are you going to do a dust bath? Hello, sweethearts. Aren't they adorable, guys? And chinchillas are very friendly. They love to chew on everything. Like I said, I gotta get their um, their toys out to put in there. Because one of the babies ripped. There was one hanging right there. They ripped it off. Hi, nice, sweetheart. You let me hold you. Are you gonna run on the wheel? Could everybody please tap the screen some? I would appreciate it. And if you're new, I'd appreciate if you would follow. Right there. I'm gonna laugh if Elsie gets on the wheel. She could use some exercise, guys. She's always been a big girl, but of course, you know, she's had babies too. But the other day I was letting the moms just kind of run loose in the rooms so they'd get out and run around. Usually I do play pen time, like I said, I'm not doing it today. I got cleaned up for the day. Thank you, Trina, the heart. I got cleaned up for the day and I don't want to get hair and dust all over me. But tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll get them out in the playpen. I had a bunch of the moms running in the big room, no playpen. Oh. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> He's still trying to get my nail. You gonna go run on that wheel? And then when I do go live with Elle Woods, I will not be taking her out of her cage because she's pregnant. And uh, she does like these barrel flips when I grab her. So 
I've taken her out a couple times, but at this point I don't really want to take her out because um, she's around her third month of pregnancy. So don't chew my 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 ring. Does anyone have any questions about chinchillas? Besides how cute they are. I love their little paws. And their little noses. Uh, they're pregnant. Mom chins are pregnant for 112 days. It's a long time for members of the rodent families. And they're born with full hair and their eyes open. I mean, they're born obviously wet, but once they dry off, um, they're furry. And then moms will nurse them up to eight weeks. Um, I don't think it really hurts that bad. But I mean, once in a while, they'll get you if they're mad. But, I mean, I never just, like, go in and grab a chin. I like them to come to me. And if they won't come to me, I'll try, like, say it's a rescue. I'll try opening the door to see if they'll come towards me. And if they don't, that's fine. I like to give them time. And then if they don't want to come near me, I'll, I'll try, you know, a treat. Sometimes they won't even come for a treat. The rescues are so scared. Oh, you have sugar gliders? I was thinking about getting some of those. Those are cool. They make the funniest sounds, too. <laughs> They're getting all excited because of this wheel. He's like, wait, it won't stop. Um, my biggest litter has been up to four. They can have up to six. Yeah, it sounds like something out of a jungle, Trina. There's Mama Elsie. Careful, Else. I should have brought one of the hanging toys over. It's like way over on the other side of the room. You guys going to do your dust bath or no? And definitely the sounds the sugar gliders make, you would never suspect that weird sound would come out of them. Hi. Chinchillas make funny noises too, not too loud. See, they all want to get my nails. Yeah. Uh oh. My friend had some sugar gliders, but the ones she's gotten, or she don't have them no more. The ones she had were not. I mean, I don't even know how many homes they had been to, but they hers were not friendly. But if I get some, I would want to get them as babies. So they'd be friendly. I'm not saying all of them. Like, you know, if you adopt an animal, it's a rescue. But hers, she had a really hard time with hers. And they kept escaping her cage and then she couldn't catch them. <laughs> yeah. So I, I definitely would want to do a baby. Elsie's like, I'm going to take this tray back there with me. Oh, look, he rolled right off the wheel. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I don't know if I want eight. I would just want a pair. Just a pair. I know they're little and you can put a lot of them in there. But I definitely have to do some more research, Treat. I'm not just going to go out and buy one. Maybe later, not right now. Kelsey. Elsie's like, I don't want to be in the video of the live, but it's okay. Yeah, I know they have a weird diet, too. You gotta feed them, like, all sorts of stuff. That was definitely something I have to look up more on. <gasps> Elsie! Else. 
See how sweet she is, guys. But I also know she wants to gangbuster out of this cage. I don't feel like chasing you right now. Yeah. Chinchillas are easy. They just eat pellets uh, and timothy hay and alfalfa hay in a dust bath. See how friendly Elsie is? She kind of looks like a rabbit from that side view <laughs> with her ears like that. Get back. You want me to rub your belly? This one always rides on mom. Don't, you're going to fall. Elsie's in a trance. Oh, okay. I don't know how I feel about touching a mealworm. I don't really like bugs. I know I don't know if a worm's a bug, but that's a chinchilla, Mama Chinchilla and her babies, right now. Elsie's just kind of enjoying some scratches. Love tweezers. Yeah, I I don't mind a holding it like a snake. That don't bug me. I wouldn't grab it like a snake outside. But that's probably about it. But my brother used to have a pet snake. How big will they get? Um, uh, Elsie's probably over a thousand grams, but she's very large. Hi, Moonbeam. Uh, most chinchillas, uh, their weights start between five hundred grams to a thousand. But Elsie is bigger. She just had babies. Um, so she should, her weight should go down a little bit, but she's always been a big girl. You gonna go do another burnout? <laughs> oh, thank you, Moonbeam. That's so sweet. I'm going to have to tell whoever gets these two babies. They have to have one of these wheels. Um, they're part of the rodent family. And chinchillas are considered exotic animals because they're not from the United States. They're from the Appalachian Mountains. They live in kind of cooler temperatures. Um, I'm not exactly sure how cool. I've never been there. But, um, like, if they get too hot, guys... Um, they can overheat and die. So I keep my heat and AC at 70 year round. They are really cute. Uh, I can't talk price, Trina, but you can always message me on showmechinchilla at gmail.com. Alice, you going to do a dust bath? Elle seems like tired today. The babies might be getting tired too because they've been running on that thing. But um, the babies, the dad, was a light ebony. So they pretty much look just like dad. And when you breed them, it's like, you know, kind of a 50-50 shot. They'll either turn out, like, either looking like mom or like dad or a mix between them. So when I say a mix, it would be like white and gray. They consider that mosaic. 14 years. Aw, Anita. Oh, it's all right, guys. Sorry, something startled them when the other chins, like bounce around in their cages uh, it startles them but chinchillas have incredible hearing too thanks for sharing the live moonbeam moonbeam sorry if I said that wrong <laughs> you guys gonna come out you guys getting sleepy not yet thank you Trina There's one of the babies. Are you guys going to come out? And chinchillas love to hide and stuff. When they live in the mountains, they kind of live in like a den. Because they're considered prey animals. Um, they get eaten very easily. Thank you, Moonbeam. Are you going to come out? Thank you, Moonbeam again. Are you going to come out? <laughs> some I have some I have will give me kisses I have some that will lick my fingers it's hilarious 
but she's real sweet. Elsie is. And see, even mom wants to groom me. Uh, but they want to. Look at my nails. I can never grow out my nails because they, they get them. Which I don't let them just like, hey, chew my nails. Yeah, she is really pretty. Hi, hey, sweetheart. He's just like, hey, can I see your nails for a minute, please? <laughs> you can climb on my fingers, but don't eat my nails. Yeah, exactly. I'll get them real nice and long, and then once I start coming in to pet the chins, they get them. Uh, my favorite, Anita, my favorite ch chinchilla, he's an Angor chinchilla, his name is Chewbacca. And he is my escape artist. I had to get him yesterday. Um, he escaped. Well, first of all, I had to clean dustpan, so I was waiting for him to dry. They're four weeks old, Moonbeam. And then um, I waited for them to dry outside and come back down. He was in a zipped up playpen, like from the top. He got on top of his barn and unzipped it. So my daughter had helped me come down and catch him because he's fast. Uh, she had just two. They're, um, her last litter was four. And I was kind of glad she didn't have that many this time. Because that's a lot of babies to be nursing. But these babies are, are pretty good um, size. I weighed them the other day. They're already um, 150. And usually, um, you know, sometimes by eight weeks, it takes up to eight weeks for them to hit 200 grams. So these are definitely, um, they're definitely eating out of the food dish. I've already been catching them, and they've been drinking out of their water bottle, too. And But they're still nursing with mom. And then they'll eat the uh, Timothy hay, and then the um, alfalfa hay. I'll have to put some in next. But um, after I'm done with this live, I'm going to go through and check everyone's water bottles and then give them fresh food and hay. It don't take me too long to do that. The biggest, I would say the worst thing about having chinchillas is cleaning their cages, but I have to do it every week, so. I don't just clean, I clean, I take, sorry if I could talk, get rid of the shavings, I bleach the pans, and then I wipe down the inside of everybody's cages. So, it's not just dumping pans. <laughs> They are adorable. Uh, I have a decent, I have, we'll just say I have a lot. <laughs> but I'm actually working on downsizing a little bit. I do have a lot of rescues right now, so that's aided in a lot more work. Um, I have Elt Woods, and then I have four other rescue girls that I have right now. Um, they came in as a rescue of five. Um, Dad was in with the four females, and they're all pregnant. But Dad's not in there no more. I'm in um, Missouri, close to St. Louis. So after some, like after L, I find her home later down the line when I've socialized her and those four rescue girls um, give birth. I won't have as many. But I was really sad about the four rescue girls because they're they were all pregnant by what was the mom and dad and the three females that were her babies and now they're all pregnant by their dad so that's gross but anyways uh, I, I'm thinking they're about halfway through their pregnancy my four rescue girls but the, the, the dad was rehomed he was very friendly you guys getting sleepies <laughs> they're like give me that wheel back what's up else My daughter originally named her Elsa, but I, for some reason, Elsie just kind of set in for the name. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get off here, and i got to check everyone's food and water before my kids get home, and then i got to work on Halloween stuff. But if you're new here, everyone please follow it. I would appreciate it. Everyone have a nice Halloween. Thank you.